Hello and welcome. My name is John Hobby, and today we are celebrating a thing called Memorial Day here in the United States, which means that we have a day off. So we'll have a little bit of time here to shuffle some of these chem cards, lovely chem cards right here. Plastic, always one of my family favorite brands of playing cards. And we are going to do something a little different. So shuffle up your little deck at home because we're going to deal a hand. We are going to deal ourselves two cards. These two cards I'm not going to reveal in this video. If you want to know what these two cards are, guess in the comments and next week I'll show you what they are. I don't know what they are yet. I haven't even looked at them, but we're going to deal three cards. Let's burn a card here. One, two, three. This is your flop, everybody. Hmm. 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 Burn another card. Oh, snap. And finally, Ace of Clubs. Nope, King of, <laughs> King of Spades. So tell us what you have. Guess and guess what these two cards are. We'll find out next week. And I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to have to cut the video here. Flip these over so next week we can see what they are. All right. Well, thank you so much for playing, everybody. Today we're going to address a question that the more I think about, the more I realize maybe I've changed my answer a little bit. That is, should you buy used poker chips? Now, before I dive into this, real quick, um, if you're going to go out and buy some poker chips, here's Milano, just happen to be convenient, um, and you want a certain number of chips, I would recommend buying them all at once from the same place for a couple of reasons. Over the years, things can change. Recipes can change, manufacturing tolerances change, the colors often will change on less expensive chips. So what may be a certain type of yellow or a certain type of red or even a certain shade of white may change over time. This is true with China Clays, it's true with ABS chips, what do I have? Uh, Outlaws haven't been out that long, but in general, I'm not talking about this particular brand, but in general, plastic colors will change a little bit. And so if you buy 300 one year and then five years later you buy another set of 300 and five years later you buy another set, yes you'll have 900 chips but you may have three different shades of red in this case. So buy them at the same time, that's one, one thing I recommend and that's also true with used chips. Now there are some exceptions, now we're going to dive into this, I love this discussion. So that said, you understand that, let's move on. ABS chips. ABS chips are very durable. And so I asked myself, would I buy ABS chips? My first impression was, no, why? When you can just buy them new for so cheap. However, because they are so durable, it seems like they would be a fine purchase used. Why wouldn't you buy them used? You get a good deal on them. All right, well, ABS chips, yeah. China Clay, same thing. Uh, why wouldn't you buy them used? There's gonna be thickness issues. Yeah, maybe they'll be broken in a little bit more. Some China clay smell, I think it's just volatile organic compounds, VOC as we call it, whatever you want to call it. Oh, look, this is one of my old custom, <laughs> my custom chips that I customized myself. Um, so yeah, so a used set may have less of that. Moving into the more interesting side of things. Whoa, what about casino chips? Used casino chips haven't changed. I feel like you should. these are something that you buy used, right? They're casino chips. In this case, an obsolete casino, Horseshoe Cleveland, Horseshoe Cincinnati's out there as well. But these will have consistent colors. The casinos purchased these at the same time, or at least Paulson has really high standards for color rendering right in their chips so if you bought a hundred of these one year and five years later you bought another hundred of these they should be very similar if not exactly the same in color paulson's are a really high quality chip and the color rendering is superb the color in the chips and edge spots 
superb. So Paulson's, yeah, I would, understanding that, you know, they are worn, used casino chips, broken in. I really like them. So the more I think about it, would I buy used chips? I My initial thought was just the premium chips. But across the board, yeah, I'd buy used chips. And I probably will in the future. Tell us your thoughts about this question. Should you or would you buy used poker chips? Uh, this red is blending into the felt here. Let's replace it with this stack here. And tell us your experience purchasing used chips. Have you had a bad experience? Maybe there's a bad vendor. Always check those ratings from previous buyers. I'm interested to read your comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and next week you're going to find out what those cards are. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. My name is John Hobby.